Today on Cruise Man's Garage, I'm at Dream Machines of Texas, and I'm gonna try out a couple of F4 Customs windshields on this 2016 Honda Goldwing trike. First, I need to remove the OEM windshield from this trike before I can install the F4 Customs windshields. Now I'm basically following the directions as they're outlined on the F4 Customs YouTube channel and I'll put links in the description down below. Here I'm stuffing a rag down underneath the mirror assembly to prevent any bolts from falling down into the top shelter. And I'm removing the 10 millimeter bolts on each side then I can remove this front garnish. Now we remove the pressure plate that holds the windshield down when you lock it in place. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the vent while the windshield's on the bike because it's a little easier. I'm going to use this vent in the plus two windshield. And then it's simply a matter of undoing the screws that hold the windshield in place, being careful to hold the windshield when you remove the last screw. With the windshield removed, now I can install the Velcro that comes with the F4 Customs windshield. Here you can see the plus four windshield installed, you can see that I'm actually looking through the windshield. It's four inches taller than stock. So right now I'm sitting behind the F4 plus four, F4 Customs plus four, and on a 2016 Honda Goldwing trike, I would say uh, I'm six foot two with a 33 inch inseam, and I can just barely see over the top of the windshield. Actually, I'm the, the top edge of the windshield is really right in my eyesight. So it probably wouldn't be a good fit for me at six foot two because I would find that a little annoying. But if you're taller, like six foot three, or if you're lower and you like looking through a windshield, say you're six foot or lower or shorter, I should say, uh, and you like looking through a windshield, this would be a good match. Also, if you ride with a passenger a lot, uh, it's going to give you a lot more wind protection than the plus two or the OEM size. But I am not getting any wind. And I'm going into a little bit of a headwind right now. And I don't feel a thing. You know, I have a plus four on my 2018 Goldwing. And if I raise it all the way up, then I'm looking through it. Now the plus four model is a little bit thicker than the other F4 Customs windshields and it's not adjustable. So once you set, once you install it at the height, which is four inches above the stock OEM windshield, uh, that's it. You have to leave it there. You can't move it up and down like you can the OEM or even the F4 Customs plus two. The plus two you can adjust. And I'm telling you, these things are amazing in the rain. They shed water like nobody's business. Now, I've had three different brands, actually four, I guess, if you include the Honda brand of windscreens. And I believe my favorite one so far is my F4 Customs. Just the fact that you can clean this thing with window cleaner and a paper towel is, it still blows my mind that you can do that. It just blows my mind. So we're going to head back to Dream Machines. I, I like this plus four. I want to try the plus two next. It's a little bit shorter, but we're going to give it a try. After removing the F4 Customs plus four windshield, I then installed the plus two model, which is tinted, and I also installed the OEM vent, as you can see here. And in this photo, you can see I am actually looking over the plus two windshield with it in the highest position. I am sitting behind a F4 Customs plus two windscreen. So this one's not as tall as the plus four. And I, can, I have it all the way up right now because it's six foot two. That's probably the way I would ride with it. What I like about this windscreen, first of all, I love the tent because it's not so dark that you couldn't see at night. You'd still be able to see when it's dark out. I also was able to remove the vent from the uh, OEM windscreen and install it on this windscreen. So if you have a Honda windscreen with a vent, 
uh, you can order the F4 without a vent, with uh, just the hole cut, and it fits perfectly. Boy, it fits like a dream. And it's a pretty easy swap. You just undo a couple of bolts, and it uh, pops right out, and then you pop it in the F4 Customs. Now, I can see over this windshield, um, probably it's about, the top of the windshield is about level with my, probably my nose. So my eyes are above the windscreen. I could probably even put it down a little bit lower. And like I mentioned on the last uh, test ride, it's pretty windy today and I'm, I'm still not getting any wind. Even though I'm looking over the windscreen, it's, there's no buffeting at all. I took it out on the highway for a little bit and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it, it really protects well. The reason I didn't record is because it was so noisy uh, with all the trucks going by and the wind and everything. I just went ahead and thought I'd record this little loop that I'm doing. So I love this F4 Customs Plus 2. Taller guys are going to want the F, the Plus 4, um, but the, two, the Plus 2 is a great, great option for most people. I had a lot of fun riding that 2016 trike, getting a chance to try out those two F4 Customs windshields, the Plus 2 and the Plus 4. And you know, it kind of confirmed what I already suspected, that whether you ride a 6th generation Goldwing like I do, or one of the previous models, 2001 to 2017. There's just not a better windshield out there than the F4 Customs. You know, you get the great wind protection, incredible optical clarity. If you ride in the rain, the things shed water like nobody's business. And they have this proprietary polycarbonate system where you can actually clean them with paper towels and window cleaner. They're just anything like it. You know, the, the Goldwing is the best motorcycle ever made. Doesn't it make sense you'd want the best windshield on that motorcycle? For my money, it's F4 Customs.